morning students in the last class we have completed areas of similar triangle in today's class let us learn about the theorem so in the very period in the very times people used to construct to perform the homa kunda to perform the yagna kunda they have built the altars altars means built the altars kamba in kannada so in order to build the altar they have used the rope or sulba sulba so sulba it was contributed by a famous mathematician by name bodhayana bodhayana the theorem is known as bodhayana theorem the present theorem known as pythagoras theorem in the ancient time this theorem is properly known as bodhayana theorem bodhayana theorem tells us the rectangle this is the diagonal the diagonal of the rectangle produces itself as a length and breadth produces separately it is not in your syllabus so pythagoras theorem means the originate from the right angle triangle the right angle triangle in the right angle triangle we call this ac as hypotenuse we call it as hypotenuse the measurement of hypotenuse is always greatest side which is the greatest side in the right angle triangle hypotenuse this is 6 cm this is 8 cm in a rectangle triangle this is called hypotenuse square on the hypotenuse so we have to build this build this squares so we have to imagine this is all square this is 6 cm this is 
10 cm, this is 8 cm. There are 100 squares on this. Square on the hypotenuse. Square on the hypotenuse. How many square? 10 squares. That is hypotenuse is what? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Square on the hypotenuse. How many squares are there? 10 into 10, 100. 10 square is equal to other two sides. 6 square plus 8 square. Tensions are 100. 6 6 are 36. 8 eights are 64. 100 is equal to 100. Square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on other two sides. You have to imagine this as a square. So, how to take this? So, this is a right angle triangle ABC. This is 8 cm, 6 cm, 10 cm. Square on the hypotenuse, there are 100 squares there. Square on the hypotenuse is equal to square on this side, square on this side. Squares, sum of, sum means plus. Sum of these squares on other two sides. Therefore, this 6, 10, and 8, or 6, 8, and 10 are called PG. Pythagorean triplet. Pythagorean triplet. We have to consider one more. This is 7 cm, this is 24 cm, this is 25 cm. Square on the hypotenuse, how many is this? 25 square is equal to other two sides. 7 square plus 24 square. 25, 25 is 625. 7, 7 is 46. 576. When you are 576 plus 49. 5 plus 6 is 625. 625 is equal to 625. Therefore, 7, 24 and 25 are called Pythagorean triplet. So, what does this theorem tell us? Square on the hypotenuse. Square on the hypotenuse. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Square on the linear right angle triangle. We have to consider only right angle triangle. Linear right angle triangle. This is how much degree? 90 degree. Linear right angle triangle. Square on the hypotenuse. Square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of Squares on other two sides. Square on the hypotenuse, linear right angle triangle. Square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on other two sides. Let us consider the right angle triangle. A, B, C is a right angle triangle. Here, B is 90 degree. Data in right angle triangle ABC angle B is equal to 90 degree. Yeah? This is 90 degree. In a right angle triangle square on the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse? AC is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. In a right angle triangle square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on other two sides. In triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree. We have to prove that. We have to prove that. What we are going to prove? We are going to prove that. Square, which is the hypotenuse? The side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. Since from the H standard, we have explained this in your H standard. That is, the side opposite to the right angle. This is the right angle, this is the opposite side of the right angle. The side opposite to the right angle is 
called the hypotenuse. Therefore, AC is the hypotenuse. Square on the hypotenuse. Which is the hypotenuse? AC. That is equal to AC squared is equal to other two sides. This one and this one are other two sides. Which one? AB squared plus BC squared. Square on the hypotenuse. AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. Square on the hypotenuse. AC squared. Other two sides. AB squared plus BC squared. Once again, square on linear rectangle triangle, square on the hypotenuse e is equal to the sum of these squares on other two sides. Other two sides are AB and BC. That is called AB square plus BC square. Construction. Draw. Side. AB corresponding side AB by AD. 
this by and this side corresponding side of this triangle is ab the corresponding side of ab is ad consider ab divided by ad ab divided by ab divided by ad this is corresponding side of ab is ad is equal what is the corresponding side ac what is the corresponding side ab ac divided by taking cross multiplication taking cross multiplication by taking the cross multiplication cross multiplication ab into ab ab square yes ab square is equal to ac into ad all it as equation number 1 last time this question appearing in the 2 For five marks, for that reason, this is a very important thing we have to work out. If this is the right time to learn the over five marks, then you are very free to do. Please work out this problem and try to do it yourself. We have to analyze this one. Next, consider what are what we have explained: A, B, C, and A, D. Now the same triangle, even triangle.
is the complete theorem of the Pythagoras, complete theorem that is the Pythagoras theorem. So I want to explain this again. Linear rectangle triangle, square on the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse AC. AC square in triangle ABC, B 90 degree, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, draw BD perpendicular to AC. Before going to start the theorem, my dear student, what you are going to do, you have to consider the triangle. Which of the triangle? Bigger triangle is ABC, smaller triangle is AD, ABC and AD. We have to compare bigger triangle with this last smaller two triangle. One is AD, another is BDC. In triangle ABC and triangle AD. This angle, the same shape of ABC. So, when you compare these two triangles, you compare these two triangles, A is common to angle A is equal to angle A, common to Next, try if two angles are one triangle are equal to the two angles of other triangles, so two triangles are said to be equiangular triangle. If they are equiangular, then they are similar. Therefore, what we are going to write, triangle ABC and triangle ADB, that is A is similar to now write the corresponding side, write the figure like this AB divided by AD. AB divided by the corresponding side of AB is AD. AB by AD. Corresponding side AC divided by AB cross multiplication AB into AB, AB square is equal to AC into AD. All right, expression number one. Next, consider another triangle. The bigger triangle is one side ABC, smaller triangle is BDC. ABC one side ABC is equal to BDC is equal to 90 degree data and construction. Observe the figure here. Angle C is equal to angle C. Consider. Imagine you have to look here. C, C. Angle C is equal to angle C. Common angle. Therefore, one side in triangle A, B, C, triangle B, C, A, similarity criteria. Consider the corresponding side. B, C by D, C. B, C corresponding side D, C is equal to A, C divided by B, C. Cross multiplication. BC into BC, BC square is equal to AC into DC. All right, as a question number two. Add in one minute two. The last step is very important. How they have distributed the marks by mark? Writing the statement, it carries half marks. Writing the figure and prove the construction, one mark. You get one and a half marks. The remaining three and a half marks will be distributed for the proof. So, AB's last step is very important by the students. Adding 1 and 2, AB square is equal to AC into AD. BC square is equal to AC into DC. Adding this one, AB square plus BC square. AC into AD plus AC into DC. Taking AC as the common factor, AD plus DC. AC into AD plus DC. Observe the figure. AD plus DC is AC. What is AC into AC? AC square. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. Now, in the last syllabus, there is a theorem, right angle theorem. That we are going to explain in the next class. Now, let us solve some problem based on this Pythagoras theorem in today's class. You have to work out this theorem, very very important for 5 marks question, every step is important, every reason is important, this is data and construction, this is data, construction, common angle, ditto, ditto, you have to write this one, if you do like this, you get the full marks for this, okay. Determine which 
Which of them are right angles? Which of them are right angles? Right angle triangle, right triangles are right angle triangle, right angle triangles, right angle triangles. Write the length of its hypotenuse. Write the length of its hypotenuse. Firstly, write the right, right angle. One A B C. Call it as. B next degree. Another triangle. P Q R next degree. Next. K L M. Not next degree. After writing this, we have to take it as next degree. K L M. Next. I J K. The measurements are 7, 24, 25. My students have already told you in the right angle triangle the bigger side is hypotenuse. Which is the bigger side? 25 cm. Smaller side? 7 cm. 24 cm. Square on the hypotenuse, the bigger side. This one, 25 square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square. 25, 25 is a 624, 24, 24 is a 576, plus 14, 625 is equal to 625. LHS is equal to square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on other two sides. Therefore, B is 90 degree. Therefore, it is a right angle triangle. It is a right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is Hypotenuse is AC is equal to 25 cm. Next one, 386. 3A, sorry, 36A. Square of the hypotenuse, that is equal to 8 square is equal to 3 square plus 6 square. 8 is are 64, 936. 64 is equal to 45. Not possible. Therefore, it is not a right angle triangle. It is not a right angle triangle. Next. 50, 80, 100. 50, 80, 100. Don't bother about this one. That is equal to 100 square is equal to 50 square plus 80 square. 100 hundreds are 10,000. 5 fives are 25. 2,500 plus 8 times are 64. 10,000. 64 plus 25. 9. 8. 8,900. LHS is not equal to our
this class please work out this Pythagoras